Millions of adults and kids lack education. Iowa and Nebraska ACT scores are compared with Nebraska scores at 21.4, with 84% of their students tested. Iowa graduates testing at 21.9, and that went down from the year before, which was 21.1. What are your thoughts on this, Madison? Well, Iowa has the highest high school graduation rate at 90%. Two-thirds of graduates go directly to college. 90.8% graduated in 2015, and it was the highest graduation rate nationally in Iowa. All, in fact, all state residents are entitled to free public education up to the age 21. And state law requires that all young kids between ages 6 through 16 must attend school. If you homeschool your child, you have to take a course in the homeschooling process. It has to be done within 148 days. On to you, Augusta. 31 states provide less funding per student since 2014 school year. In seven states, the funding cuts exceed 10%. Isn't that ridiculous? Sports news next. The pencil! It's a pen and pencil all in one. Would you believe that? And when you need a pencil, it's right there. And when you need a pen, it's one click away. It's a genius idea. You can find it in any store near you. It only costs $15 for one, but that's not all. The first 100 callers get a second one for free. So call now. Our number is 1-800-PENCIL. I repeat, 1-800-PEN-CILE. 1-800-PENCIL. We're back with sports news. NFL. Well, that looks like Patriots DC. Matt Patricia is expected to be the Lions' next head coach. Then the Pirates trade the five-time star Andrew McCutcheon to the Giants. Then NBA is still going on. Uh, not un ending until June seventeenth, with the Warriors winning against the Bulls, one hundred nineteen to one hundred twelve, and the Lakers losing to the Thunder with ninety to one hundred fourteen. Also, the Heat won one with one hundred and six points to the Bucks with 101. There are a bunch of other s games going on, so don't forget to go catch one of them. Now, for the weather. Tonight is supposed to be very, very cold, so stay indoors. If you have to go outside, make sure that you have coats, hats, scarves, gloves, snow boots, Anything that will keep you warm during this cold season. As far as the rest of this week, is, it is going to be about 8 degrees, so stay warm. Also, before we go, we have a couple more things to say. All of the store owners out there, you better start stocking up on your cards, chocolates, flowers, and balloons now. Since Valentine's Day is less than a month away on February 14th, woo, woo, this has been a news broadcasting live from our small town studio. Ha good night and have a lovely day tomorrow.